George Lucas, for the first time in quite a while, has thrown shade at Disney Star Wars. Uh, he did this in a recent interview at the Cannes Film Festival where he received the honorary uh, Palme d'Or. The Palme d'Or, I think, is the biggest award at the festival. Lucas, uh, as anyone who has followed Star Wars over the last several years knows, is not really all that enamored and thrilled with the way Disney has handled the IP that he created. And we know this because he gave that infamous interview in 2015 with I think it was Charlie Rose and he said that selling Lucasfilm and its IPs to Disney was tantamount to selling his children to the white slavers and ever since then Lucas has been pretty silent on the disastrous state of Disney Star Wars and there's been a lot to talk about since that interview was given like uh, The Last Jedi was terrible uh, Rise of Skywalker was terrible. The Mandalorian fell to pieces after Gina Carano was unjustly fired. Uh, the Obi-Wan Kenobi show was awful. Uh, but he hasn't really talked a lot about that. But in this interview, he did say that uh, the new regime at Lucasfilm got a lot wrong with uh, his the IP that he created. And it was a very, very extensive interview that he gave at can and uh it was basically covering his entire career and lucas uh defended his entire career essentially too like he defended the star wars prequel films against haters which you know fair enough i like the star wars prequels for what they are they're not perfect but they have a lot of scenes that are awesome that i love to go back and watch on youtube i can't say that for any scenes from the sequel trilogy and the prequels actually have a complete arc that makes sense unlike the sequels again where it's just somehow palpatine returned because we're we're out of ideas we're we're in a corner thanks to dickhead ryan johnson lucas also defended his practice of uh uh, redoing the Star Wars films with uh, uh, new visual effects like the special editions. I'm a firm believer that the director or the writer or the filmmaker should have a right to have his movie be the way he wants it, which he's not wrong, but I do wish from a fan's perspective that it were easier to see the original unaltered film because it's quite difficult to watch a good quality copy of it it might be somewhere out there in cyberspace but there hasn't been a legit release of the original unaltered films i think since 1995 when they did the one last time vhs i could be wrong on that but i think that was the last time the original unaltered films were released but the part of this that i really wanted to talk about was where lucas threw shade at disney star wars he said i was the one who really knew what star wars was who actually knew this world because there's a lot to it the force for example nobody understood the force when they started other ones after I sold the company, a lot of the ideas that were in the original sort of got lost. Uh, yeah, that's the understatement of the century. But that's the way it is. You give it up, you give it up. Which, yeah, Lucas did sell uh, Lucasfilm to Disney, which I think in retrospect is probably the biggest mistake of his career. You know, he he's had a number of those, but... I, I think this was really the worst one that he could have done. In another part of this interview that he gave at Ken, which is written about in this uh, IGN article here, Lucas said that there's no original thinking in Hollywood and how studios don't have an imagination, pretty much bemoaning the state of Hollywood writ large, which, you know, he's not wrong about this, but his comments here kind of feel just like pontification and they feel a little rich because well i'll explain why so uh he said that uh he was answering the question of what what will cinema be in 10 years he said same thing as it is now what happens now and it happens in streaming probably more than features but in features it's the same thing nobody knows what to do the stories they're telling are just old movies let's do a sequel let's do another version of this movie and it's not just in movies but in everything there's almost no original thinking it's kind of rich that george would say this but he would back Bob Iger in his proxy fight for the Disney board because Bob Iger, as we all know, 
He's all about sequels. He's all about remakes with race swapped leads and just rehashing old ideas. So I find it funny that George would talk about the sorry state of the film industry in this way. And at the same time, back one of the guys in the industry that is perpetuating this problem so this part of the interview just kind of sounded like george blowing hot air even though he's not wrong i thought you know george it's nice that you think that but i i wish your actions would reflect this a little bit more even though it's not written about in this particular ign article during his can interview george lucas did answer the question of whether he will return to star wars and the answer is no. The interviewer asked him, are you going to make another movie ostensibly as a director? And George Lucas said, no, I'm retired. And yeah, anybody with half a brain knew that was the case. You know, a couple weeks ago, I think it was the Internet was set ablaze with rumors that George Lucas was going to come back to do another Star Wars movie, which bullshit. That was never, ever going to happen. George Lucas is 80 he's in the twilight of his life he's made his money he's accomplished all there is to accomplish even if george lucas did come back to make another star wars movie who gives a shit star wars really is dead at this point it's been just debased so much that it is at the bottom of the mariana trench it's not salvageable so if george lucas came back to star wars i guess you could get some clickbaity videos out of it but for the state of Star Wars, it would make no difference.